Well, hello everyone and welcome to this hopefully very quick little video for Raid Shadow Legends. Uh, you're probably getting tired of me ranting and I'm tired of ranting, so I'm just going to, as dispassionately as possible, point out a few things uh, that I wanted to make everybody aware of. So this just popped up today. And I want you to do the math on this really quick. This is $10. You get five fragments. This is not a very great champion, even though that this is a legendary. And it, you have nine that you can get at a time. So according to my math, essentially $10 times nine is 90 bucks. 90 bucks for 45 total fragments. So roughly half a champion. So they are kind of playing their hand a little bit here, basically telling us that for a crappy legendary champion, or even one that's not that great, you're going to be paying about $180. Up until this point, I haven't ever seen uh, Plarium essentially selling a champion to us, and they're not really selling a champion here, because this will do you no good. You can spend this $90 and if you don't get the remaining 55 fragments that you need, then you're not going to be able to get this champion. I don't know what the time limit is on these fragments. I don't know how long they'll be offering them so that you can collect. When I saw this today, and I saw the direction, and I'm going to tell you what this portends. When I saw that the direction that this is showing that the game is going, uh, it put me very close. In fact, I'm leaning towards right now quitting the game. What this means, having this going on in the game, this is going to become, uh, it's going to become harder to get legendary champions outside of your daily logins. What they're trying to do now, instead of offering you like crystal packs and stuff, where you might have a chance at getting something those are already pretty expensive, they're going to make it even harder. I don't know how to describe or say what I'm trying to say, but by fragmenting out their champions, they're making it even harder to get a hold of champions. And this is showing a tendency towards making it harder to get a hold of the, any kind of a legendary champion. It's what I'm seeing what I am intuiting from my experience with other games and stuff, I see that the direction that this is going is not a favorable one, is basically what I'm trying to say. This is not a favorable direction for the game to be going. I wanted to mention that before this offer went away. I wanted you guys to be able to see this so you could see what's going on with the game and uh, you can make your own decisions and decide how you're going to feel about that. I am not happy about it, but I'm not going to sit there and obsess over it either. It's just one more nail in the coffin for me, and the coffin's about nailed shut, so that might actually have been the last one we'll have to see. We do have a Void Summons. It is a double raid event for the Void Shard. You see there's two X chances here. If we go to Info, you see that you have an 83% chance to get a Rare, a 16% chance to get an epic and a 1% chance to get a legendary. I have over here in my faction wars, I'm very close to getting this. I have 317 of the 320, so essentially I have to win one battle. But I am stuck where I'm currently located within the faction wars. Um, but tomorrow in 11 hours we'll have a dark elf crypt and an ogren crypt and it looks like no not ogren excuse me dark elf crypt and there was one other one yeah night revenant i might be able to get something out of one of these and i might put some effort tomorrow before five o'clock p.m pacific standard time to try to get something here i think all i have to do is beat one level and I should be able to unlock this shard and so if I can do that if I get this shard I will do the summoning tomorrow that's the plan and it will be another very small summoning of just three shards I think that's what I had for the sacreds but that's the intention for tomorrow 
Other news you should be aware of, they're going to do something with this campfire and will have something to do with artifact crafting. And that should be coming up in patch 2.2, which should be released, if I understood correctly, sometime next month. But don't quote me on that. So I wanted to announce that little bit of news. Um, be aware that you have some events. And these are probably some of your last chances to collect your shards for your Krila Witch Armor, whatever her name is. We're starting to weed out now, and yeah, you can see in these that we don't have any shards of her being offered now, and I don't know if they're going to come up for sale in the arena. So, you'll need to try to get what you can out of these last events, as long as they have these for her. Looks like you can get some stuff out of the Summon Rush, so if you do have Sacred Shards, this is a good time to open them because if you do get blessed enough to get a legendary, you'll get a whole bunch of these fragments, and that should help put you over the top. And then the champion training, I think, is probably going to, yeah, because her icon's not there. I bet you this is the last event. I don't think there'll be another one where you can get her shards. I suspect that I wouldn't be able to get this champion. That is yet another nail in the coffin for me. You can see that I'm stuck at 35, and I'm only getting one shard, buying one shard at a time of Drexthar, and I've only got six of, of them, and I'm probably not going to be able to get much more. Last thing I want to talk about is the arena, and this will explain why I feel I'm not going to get much more. These are the kind of opponents that I'm seeing now. Look at the level where I am. I am currently on bronze level one. This is the easiest entry level level for Tag Team Arena. They said they fixed it. Bullshit. And I'm not going to censor this video or put a warning up for that little bit of a swear word. Because that's the only word appropriate for it. It hasn't done a thing. I've refreshed numerous times. Look at what I'm seeing. And this is in the very first beginners, noobs, you know, starting out level here, I believe this is bronze is where I am. That's where, yeah, I'm right here at the very beginning. You can see that for yourself. There's your proof. Take a look at what I got. This one here, this is an instant death team. The reason why it's an instant death team is because you might be able to defeat this one. The theory here is that this character will heal you and this one will attack and hit you hard. I'm not sure. Every time I see this guy here, though, I seem to lose. And I don't remember what exactly he does. This one always goes first. I think it's Seeker, although I might be wrong on the name on that. So how this is designed, and along with this one here, this is designed to, they can go faster, they can hit you first, you get hit hard with these two, and you'll be dead. And they won't be your normal, everyday level 60 of these characters, as I pointed out before. They will have masteries, they will have five to six star gear, more than likely, on all of this stuff. And of course, we have this legendary here. She can hit like a truck once when she's equipped correctly. And of course, we have another cold heart. So what's going on here is this one will protect the other characters and you'll be hit by these three. This is a death. This is an instant death. Unless you have a really excellent arena team. And if you have a really excellent arena team, you're not going to be sitting here at Bronze 1 looking at teams like this. You're going to be looking at probably harder stuff, although I don't know. So let me see what else we have here. I think I've seen some 400s. Here's another one. This one's iffy, but with this werewolf and its attack to be able to hit you multiple times, not very good. Here's another one. This is 236. And notice where my level is. I'm a 182. Here's another one. Here's a 336. I don't even need to go over that. Here's a 168. You might think that this is something I could fight because my number is higher. No, that would be a mistake. Uh, I can tell by the characters that I'm seeing here, these two, this one. And I'm not sure about these, but I'm fairly certain just by the other ones that this is a death. This is an instant death. This is one that's trying to bait you in and make you think that it's weak when it's not. And it will have gears and masteries just like all the rest. Here's a 266 team. 
Here's one that you would think is 266 that you could win because look at this goofball here. They've got this whole resurrect with uh, uh, whatever his name is, Lord whatever the heck. And this is the one that he resurrects. You might be able to get through this first one. What I'm seeing a lot in Take Team Arena is I can get through the first fight pretty well. But then the other ones will, will, will mop you up. This lady here. This is a uh, same theory as mine to help regenerate your health, but then you have this one to help with these two hitting you, and these two are really tough. And I don't know about this guy. I don't remember him right now. So again, not worth fighting. Here's a 285. You can see what I'm dealing with. So if you are of a Plarium, like you really believe in Plarium and you think Plarium is doing their job and fixing things and they're telling you the truth about fixing the Tag Team Arena, well, hopefully this has shattered your illusions. There is no fixing in the Tag Team Arena. There's no fixing in the Classic Arena. It is broken and it is irreparably broken at this point, as far as I can tell. I will probably fight this. I don't get these very often. I can beat that. This one here, more than likely not. We've got Madame Cerise, and we've got this combination with this guy as a one-hit killer. And I bet you there's some 400s in here as well. There you go, just about 400. It might as well be a 400. Why am I seeing 400k teams in bronze level 1, Plarium? Why? So you get the idea. I don't need to say any more, and I'm still struggling with Classic Arena. This is what I'm dealing with, and I am in Bronze 4. And it's usually the same mix-up. This one, or this one, or this guy, or this guy, and then the rest of the team. And I already know every one of these ones here. I cannot defeat it. I know that every one of these is an instant death. I know how every one of these fights and plays. I know the trap on each and every one of these. I know everything that they are doing here in these team mix-ups. And I have no chance of beating them, and I'm not even going to try. I'm not even going to play. To heck with it. So I'm done on that. I'm not done with the game yet, but I'm thinking about it. I put in a vast amount of effort in the dungeons in getting a bunch of accessories with the spider dungeon and trying to get some artifacts that way. I did manage to scrounge out some more points for the Krila Witch Arm uh, fragments, but that's, that's all I have to say here. This went a little longer than I wanted, but the game is not looking good. I'm not looking forward to it. I don't care about any of their planned updates. I'm not seeing fixes where I need, and I'm just seeing nothing but bad stuff happening right now. And it is making me very quickly lose interest and lose desire to play. Uh, we'll come back with something a little more upbeat. We're going to do a summoning, and I'll make it as fun as I can uh, sometime tomorrow. I'll see you guys then.